animal world. There are million types of animals that exist in nature. In order to understand how all living organisms are related, they are arranged into different groups. These groups, in case of animals, are known as phyla. Each phylum contains organisms that have things in common. The common features of all these animals, which fall in one phylum, form the basis for the classification of these animals. Let us discuss each phylum one by one. Phylum Porifera Animals under this phylum are commonly known as sponges. These are the simplest multicellular organisms. Their cells are loosely held together and they do not form tissues. These distinctive cells, coanocytes, line the interior body walls of sponges. These cells have a central flagellum that is surrounded by a collar of microvilli. Their flagella beat to create the active pumping of water through the sponge. Water enters its cavity, spongocele, through numerous openings called ostia and escapes out through the larger openings known as osculum. They grow attached to a solid support and do not have any muscle cells. So their movement is rather limited. Examples of poriferans are Leucosolenia, Cycon, Hyalonema, and Euspongia. Phylentrata, Nidaria. These are aquatic animals having radially symmetrical body. Nidarians have a diploblastic body and have a central gastrovascular cavity called cylindron. Nematocyst It is a specialized cell present in the tentacles containing a venomous coiled barb which is used in self-defense or to capture prey. Nidarian's bodies take one of the two forms, the polyp or the medusa. While the polyp form is adapted for a sedentary or sessile lifestyle, the medusa form is adapted for floating or free swimming. The skeleton of these animals is made of calcium carbonate and produces corals. Some examples of Nidarians are Hydra, Obelia, Pisalia, Aurelia, and Sea Anemone. Platyhelminthes. The platyhelminthes include free-living flatworms like the planarians and the parasitic tapeworms and flukes. The term flatworm refers to the fact that the body is dorsoventrally flattened. Flatworms are the first organisms to have tissues organized into organs and the first to demonstrate bilateral symmetry. Examples Dugesia, that is planaria, Fasciola hepatica, that is sheep liver fluke.
Kistosoma, that is blood fluke. Dania solium, that is pork tape worm. Ilum nematoda, Escalmenthes, round worms. The body size of nematodes varies from microscopic to quite large forms that are elongated and cylindrical. The body cavity is a pseudocilum. They are triploblastic and bilaterally symmetrical like platyhelminthes. Body is covered with an elastic cuticle. They are mostly parasitic. For example, Pucheria causes the disease elephantiasis in man. Here you see some other nematodes. Ascaris, that is round worm. Enterobius, that is pinworm. And Encylostoma, that is hookworm. Anilum leader, segmented worms. They are triploblastic and bilaterally symmetrical. The body cavity is a true coelom and is segmented. In some of these organisms, appendages like setae and parapodia are present for movement. They are found in fresh water, moist soil and marine water. Example, Nires, that is sandworm, Aphrodite, that is sea mouse, Ferretima, that is earthworm, and Herodinaria, that is cattle leech. Phylum Arthropoda, animals with jointed feet. This phylum has the maximum number of organisms including spiders, insects, butterflies, centipedes, prawns, etc. Organisms under this phylum are eucilomate, triploblastic and bilaterally symmetrical. The body is divided into two regions, cephalothorax, having head and thorax, and abdomen. The epidermis is covered by a strong glycoprotein called chitin. Paired and jointed appendages are present and may be a claws. See some animals falling in this phylum. Pelemon, that is prawn. Periplanata, Cockroach, Scolopendra, Centipede, Masca, Housefly, Anophilus, Mosquito, Apis, Honeybee, Palamnius, Scorpion, and Arena, that is Spider. These animals are characterized as having soft body and usually have limy shells. The organisms in the phylum Mollusca are characterized by having three main body divisions. A head, foot in the form of visceral mass and a mantle which secretes a shell. Some examples of molluscans are chitin, pila, that is apple snail, unio, freshwater mussel, pinktada, pearl oyster, octopus, devil fish, and dentalum, that is elephant tusk shell. Phylum Echinodermata having spiny skinned animals.
all echinoderms are marine organisms. In the larval stage, most echinoderms are bilaterally symmetrical. Most adults are radially symmetrical and they have a ventral mouth. Echinoderms have a water vascular system consisting of a network of radial canals which extend through each of the extensions of the animal. Examples of echinoderms are Asterias, Starfish, Ophiothrix, Brittle Star, Holuthuria, that is sea cucumber, Echinus, that is sea urchin, and Antidun, sea lily. The hemichordates are soft bodied, worm like marine organisms which are often found in U shaped burrows on sandy or muddy sea bottoms. They probably represent an evolutionary link between the chordata and the echinoderms. Hemichordates are distinguished by a tripartite means a threefold division of the body. At the forward end of the body is a preoral lobe. Behind this is a collar and the last comes a trunk. Some examples are Balanoglossus, that is a cornworm or tongue worm, and Cephalodiscus. Chordata. Chordates are defined as organisms that possess a structure called a notochord, at least during some part of their development. Chordates have bilateral symmetry in some stage of the life cycle. There are three subphyla in the phylum Chordata. Subphylum Eurochordata, Subphylum Cephalochordata, Subphylum Vertebrata. Out of these, Vertebrata is the largest and consists of seven classes. Sub Phylum Eurochordata. The Eurochordates, commonly called tunicates, are marine creatures which are mostly sessile as adults, although some are free living. The name tunicate is suggested by the usually tough non living tunic or test that surrounds the animal and contains cellulose. Some examples are Hermenia, Salpa, Doliolum, Pyrosoma, and Oikoplura. Subphylum Cephalochordata. The last group are the cephalochordates, which are usually represented by one organism. Branchiostoma, commonly called amphiosacs. Subphylum vertebrata. Vertebrates, which include fishes, reptiles, amphibians, birds, and mammals, share a common feature of vertebral column. A chain of bony elements, that is, vertebrae runs along the dorsal surface from head to tail and forms the main skeletal axis of the body. There are seven vertebrae classes. Ignatha, Chondrichthys, Ostichthys, Amphibia, Reptilia, Aves, Mammalia. Four are aquatic and three are terrestrial or semi terrestrial and may be grouped as the superclass Tetrapoda or four footed animals. 
The seven classes of subphylum vertebrata are like this. Out of seven classes of vertebrates, three classes are of fishes. The most primitive of these is Ignatha. It consists of jawless fish that do not have scales. These are vertebrates that possess a circular mouth which is of sucking type. They have cylindrical eel-like body. They feed on the blood of other fish which is usually a shark. Hence, they are ectoparasites. Examples Petromycin Lamprey and Mycene that is hagfish. Chondric thighs. These are sharks and rays. The skeleton is completely cartilaginous. Body is streamlined and tail helps in propulsion. Examples Scoliodon, that is Indian shark. Pristis, sawfish, trigon, stringray. Class Ostic thighs comprises of bony fishes. Some examples are Labio, that is carp, Mistus, catfish, Anibus, climbing perch, Exocitus, flying fish. Hippocampus, seahorse, and protoprus, that is lungfish.